Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday. The S&P 500 was down 1.2% today. Uh, really, you know, following up on a down day on Friday also. Markets starting to kind of sell off from that big run that we had. Uh, it was kind of bound to happen at some point in time. Personally, I still think that these type of sell-offs are necessary in order to get to the next level. Uh, but there's some reasons for what's happening right now. Obviously, the situation between Iran and Israel is one of the big pieces in the forefront. And there's a lot of things to think about in that particular, you know, situation. And most of them don't have anything to do with the stock market. However, uh, that's what I provide here. It's just an analysis on how things affect the stock market. Uh, these type of conflicts, you know, historically, uh, the market comes down at the beginning uh, and then kind of settles in. You can look at Ukraine, Afghanistan, Kuwait, uh, all of these different areas that have happened. Um, and then market kind of settles in and, and starts to come back around. Uh, the biggest concern economically uh, is oil, of course. Uh, so when Ukraine was invaded, you know, I heard, you know, estimates that oil could go up to $260 a barrel. It did go to $130 a barrel, but settled back down into the low 70s. Uh, it is now back up to $85 a barrel, just on the fear of what's happening. It seems that what has happened with oil is kind of interesting. Even though the Middle East produces a lot of oil, so does the U.S. And they've been able to kind of offset some of this and bring the prices back down. So I don't know if that's something they can do all the time or not. We're, we're probably going to find out because uh, I would assume that Israel would have some type of a response here also. And, you know, this could escalate. Uh, and so, you know, again, from the market standpoint, um, historically, this has not been a huge issue. Uh, other things to think about that are, uh, but as far as the market goes, it hasn't been a big problem in the past. Can be different this time, we'll see. The other thing that's kind of interesting that happened today was that the retail sales numbers came out for March uh, and they were really good, way above expectations. Uh, and, you know, normally, again, that would be a great thing. Uh, but when you're looking at, you know, the possibility of higher inflation, higher oil prices, higher gas prices, all these things, uh, when consumers are really buying, you know, they're kind of pushing the envelope there on the supply chains and what have you. Uh, and now, Ideally, in my opinion, this is all going to kind of go around into, you know, something that will turn out to be good, because uh, the problem right now, at least it has been for the last couple of years, is that Wall Street expects that we're going to have a recession, period. When you raise rates five plus percent, you have a recession except when you have a pandemic, apparently, because it hasn't happened yet. And so even at the beginning of this year, you know, they were expecting six rate cuts. Well, you don't have six rate cuts unless things are slowing down. You're starting to see, you know, trouble uh, on the horizon. Uh, and that hasn't happened, obviously. And now we're talking about possibly one or two or even no rate cuts. Uh, and so the market's having to adjust to this paradigm that, hey, things are okay economically. Uh, it might impact inflation. And so we're kind of back to that and we'll see what happens. Inflation numbers have been coming out a little bit on the hot side uh, and uh, you know, not completely unusual in a scenario like this, but uh, with the price of oil, you know, we all remember, at least, you know, in the market, we have an institutional memory that says, hey, that was one of the things that really drove inflation in the 70s and created all kinds of problems. Uh, and so we'll have to see how that plays out as far as that goes. But uh, in no way whatsoever is this rally over. Uh, it, you know, it can be. Uh, but at this point, there's nobody that can say that's true, although I've read multiple articles saying that that's what's happening right now. Um, it just, again, negative news sells, uh, you know, they like to come out, you know, even after a 4% drop or whatever from a high uh, after a tremendous run up and say the market's going to plummet and, you know, all these things. So uh, there's a lot of momentum that was built up in this last upturn. Uh, the market did get pretty stretched out. Some of the numbers for inflation came out, you know, a little bit worse than the market expected. And we're getting an adjustment to that. Uh, but I still think in the end, the market will adjust to the other side, which is, hey, we're not having a recession. And as earnings start to continue to come through, if they continue to grow uh, like they have been and the estimates continue to grow, uh, the market could do okay here. Uh, again, uh, many a good year as had at least a 10% downturn in there someplace. So uh, this could be our run that we're happening right now. We'll have to see, you know, what happens. Uh, earnings uh, on the upside could interrupt this downturn pretty quickly. Uh, although I think we see, need to see some more clarity on what's happening with Israel and Iran before that really does happen. But so hang in there. Uh, this is not a bad time really uh, to, you know, uh, look at the you know, overall picture uh, and just have an idea for, you know, where we might be going here long, longer term uh, than just the next couple of days. But anyway, look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Thank you.